focus. That's what makes learning Blender or anything easier. See, Blender is a tool of creative freedom. From modeling to sculpting, making materials, lighting, rigging, animating, simulations, rendering, compositing, and if that weren't enough, it even allows you to write your own tools. So if you see all of this, yeah, it might seem overwhelming. This is a cake that you cannot eat in one bite, but in fact, you don't even need to. Slice it up, have the parts that you like best, leave the rest for later, or just don't eat them. As the Pareto principles suggests, you'll only need to know 20% of Blender to do 80% of your work, so focus on that 20. Here's how. You can think of learning Blender like one of those games where the hero starts like a normal person and then, depending on what skills are unlocked, they become a mage, a rogue, or a knight. I summarized in this table where you should focus on depending on how you want to use Blender, the secondary skills you'll want to develop and which you can skip altogether or have very basic knowledge. Let's quickly go through each of them. Modeler, if you want to be able to create many different shapes and objects, to make things ranging from product visualization to detailed scenes such as these, you want to focus on learning modeling techniques. You can follow at Blender Artists and the hash Blender Render for ideas and tips. And if you're into hard surface modeling, Josh Gambrell and Ponte Riuru in YouTube are the best by a mile. Character Artists. If you ever wanted to work at Pixar, this is the next best thing. You'll focus on sculpting, but you can also create cool stuff by using box modeling. If you also rig and animate, you're basically a small agency by yourself. To learn, you might want to join Blender Studio and take their course on stylized character workflow as this field is quite technical and there are several different workflows. Follow at Livy Quinn's Starkasha 3D, among others, for inspiration. Architects. Even when powerful, dedicated architecture software exists, Blender holds its own during the creative process. You can very quickly model the structure, make floor plans, and render in high quality right out of the box. You want to focus on getting models and materials, and sites such as Polygon, Ambient CG, Blender Kit, among others, offer high quality quality free and paid assets. Also, you might want to check out my three-part floor plan series to get you started. Visual effects. You can pull off very neat effects such as these without modeling anything at all. You'll want to focus on learning geometry nodes, so it's more about mixing your creative and logical thinking than actually creating shapes. Ducky 3D in Instagram and Polyfjord in YouTube are good accounts to follow and I also make videos on that topic. Marketers can leverage Blender to make print and animated advertisements for brands. There's often budget involved, so so you can decide to buy assets instead of making them yourself to save the development time, in which case this becomes more about focusing on evolving your creative vision and knowing how to connect everything together. You should definitely watch Derek J. Elliott's YouTube tutorials to get you started. Finally, if you want to enable new creative possibilities or streamline the work by scripting or developing geometry node tools, you'll want to focus on learning Python and how to code for Blender. Check out Michael Shah's Beacon 2023 talk and Curtis Holt's Python for Blender tutorial. And these are just your starting points. Your journey will look different to everyone else's and your unique set of skills within and beyond Blender will define your very own style. And here are a few YouTube channels for all Blender users. Blender, kind of obvious, Smeef, Kaizen, CG Cookie, The CG Essentials, Blender Guru and especially The Donut, and of course, yours truly, Dude Blender. You'll want to know your way around Blender first, so check this video out next and good luck on your Blender journey. I'm Dude Blender, happy blending.